So we're sticking with uh, the compound division here and we move over to the youth men's bronze medal match. Alias Brank of Slovenia going up against Leonardo Costantino of Italy. We're going to get straight underway to find out who will be on the podium in the compound men's division. Aliash Brink of Slovenia to get us underway. Saita just makes a little bit of an adjustment. And a good start for the Italian. So Brank, first two arrows, looking a bit nervous, hasn't quite found his middle yet. Wow. Costantino there, just dipping a bit low underneath the 10. Does that clip the line? Provisionally down for a 27. And for a 29, it looks like he's got it as well, Costantino, and a cracking start for the Italian here. Two very experienced youth athletes here, uh, Karim. Obviously, Brank is the world under 21 champion. He won that title last year in Poland. His opponent, uh, Costantino from Italy, picked up a medal as well at the European Field Championships in Croatia last September. So these guys are both really experienced. They both know how to win medals. But that was a really nervy looking start for me from both of them out there then. They were, obviously they don't want to go home empty handed from this match. Yeah, arguably the uh, the hardest match in sport, isn't it? The bronze medal playoff. It really is. Because you don't want to go home losing two in a row and you don't want to go home with no extra luggage. Well, confirmation that uh, Brink is going to shoot first in the second end. We need a confirmation of those scores. It looked like three nines, but perhaps one of them was clipping the line. The very first one, possibly. Just wait for confirmation on that. Is it 30 plays 27 or 30 plays 28? Whichever way, sorry, 29, I should say, plays uh, 28 or 27. Either way, it will be Costantino with the lead. Start of the second. Brink trailing by one. Still not found the center of the target. No change to the site there. So one suspects that uh, Brank will feel that was a badly executed shot rather than anything else. And going right for the Italian. That's better from Brank. I think that was a big sigh of relief from him and the crowd there, finding the middle. Dipping low again for Costantino. Neither of these athletes yet look settled in this setting. They look really tense, really nervous. Pressure down from Brink with his third arrow. Despite the nerves, he shot a 29. 
And a response from Constantino means this match is all square. John, nerves absolutely pounding out there. I, I can feel the atmosphere coming through the screen here at me, Karim. It's, it's tense, isn't it? it? They just look edgy. They, they don't look settled. You can see how they're holding their release aids. It just Everything looks really nervy. And uh, I think they're, they're feeling it off each other. Certainly they are. need to settle down and find their rhythm. Good for us, though. Uh, the match is all square at... 57 apiece, both athletes dropping three points over the first two ends. Ali Ashbrink of Slovenia up against Leonardo Costantino of Italy for compound men's youth bronze here in Nîmes. One of just two uh, ranking tournaments, especially when we look at the seniors going ahead of the finals in Las Vegas coming up next month. Already titles, world titles up for grabs in the archery year. We'll go back to the original shooting order as it is all square. So uh, Brent will be leading off on end number three. I think uh, one of them needs to, to really step up and, and show what they're made this end. End number three in the compound men's bronze medal match. Aliash Brent of Slovenia will shoot first with the scores all tied at 57 apiece. Still not dialed in, especially on that bottom left-hand target. Mm. A bit of extra movement there from uh, Costantino all the way through to the release. Also shooting so a nine. Settling down. That's just under. As I said, Karim, that 10 ring can really get small in these compound matches and those and those arrows that are just out really hurt. Brink there with a, with a really important 10, I feel. Pressure down now on Costantino. Needs a 10 to keep this all level. And he's dropped it low for another nine a 27 his lowest score so far for an 84 plays 85 those nerves john are still very palpable it's it their their, their shot timing is inconsistent uh, as you've noticed yourself the, the movements all over the place they're just uh it's that first you know those first three arrows if you come in and you find your center you're set for the match as we saw earlier but these guys they came out they're just missing and it just it's just like a pressure cooker on a pair of them they just every little miss just makes it even harder to get that next one right sometimes so it's, it's so important a lot of head now. shaking going on yeah and but yeah. it's so important right now that the, this conversation here that we're watching usually between athlete and coach it looks like it's uh, two athletes talking to each other there it's uh, yeah. one of his teammates there leonardo Constantino and same for Brink. This conversation is what about calming the nerves rather than talking about technique? I think it's just telling you telling them to believe in their process. Yeah. Go out there, do your process, and the result happens rather than thinking about the result. If you're stood there thinking I must shoot a ten, I must shoot a ten, your process is out the window and that's when it it just all starts falling down around you. Differences on the sides of the shooting line, a little bit more serious on the Italian side. Uh, a little smile from Brink afforded just before going into the fourth. And it's really no criticism or assessment other than whatever works for you, works for you. We do see the Italian smile. We go into, as John Knott says, the all-important fourth end.
Well, you saw the look on Leonardo Costantino's face there. A long hold. Again, a lot of movement at full draw. Opportunity for Brink. He's taken it. Lead opens up to two points. That's five nines in a row now for Costantino. Brenk now has a chance to really put this out of reach, but no. He needed that. He really needed that. <laughs> what can Brink do though? Can he maintain that two point lead? That was his nicest shot of the match. We have got a measure on the, the second arrow from the Italian and the, the confident look from Brink finally coming across his face. Yeah. That was like you'd just put uh, the guy down for a count, wasn't it, on that one? He, <laughs> he, he's been relaxing there. But I you still don't know, going into this final end, if Costantino can catch the first one, Frank will start thinking. So I, two points, one point, I don't think anything's going to be enough for the way neither of them have settled into this match. Yeah, the shot was brilliant, as you say, from Brink, the last run, well executed, the best shot of the match. But then he gets a big break uh, while we wait for things to reset for the fifth end. So perhaps the break has come at the right time for the Italian. Two points in this compound men's youth bronze medal match here in Nîmes. And it's Aliash Brink of Slovenia leading by two with just three hours per archer to go. Leonardo... Costantino of Italy with the orange cap there will shoot first going into the fifth and final end. His job is to put down a big score to put the Slovenian opponent under pressure. Time for end number five. Door opened again. A 10 here will all but seal this one for Brink. Another confident certainly. shot. Brink's shot has suddenly changed, hasn't it? It's become so much more confident. Much better shot there, but now Brink has air. He's just needs one of these two and it's safe oh he wasn't happy with that one though was he <laughs> no he rushed that one finishes with a 10 but potentially going for a measure so one four one uh, but a beautiful finish Another 29 from Aliash Brink. Nervy start from the pair of them, uh, but Brink has done this and has taken bronze here in Nîmes. Well, Karim, this, this winning beautiful and this winning ugly. Uh, I think Brink won. I'm not going to say it's going to be his greatest match of his shot, but the world junior champion dug in deep and found a way to, to win that bronze medal. Yeah, nervy encounter from the pair of them, Aliash Brink and Leonardo Constantino, uh, getting off with their 27s in the first three, a pair of 27s, one for each of them. But Brink was the one that came good in end number four and carried that through to the fifth end to seal out his first gong of the year and his first podium. Aliash Brink of Slovenia 
has taken bronze here in Nîmes. We take a look back at the uh, match between Brink and Costantino for the compound men's bronze medal. John, it was a nervy encounter from the pair of them. Yeah, neither of them came in and found the, the 10 on the first three hours, really. And that just put them both on edge for the rest of the match. Uh, their shot timing was all over the place. They were never really getting good hold off their bows, as you could see. And loads of just little misses and just keeps in turn in that pressure screw. Towards the end, Brent just found a few decent shots and that saw him over the line over his opponent. 